Welcome to Nine's Corner. I hope you are doing well. And it is that time again for our weekly vibes. So let's look and see what you need to know this week about love, money, and or advice. So enjoy the fire and let me know. Would you like group one? Group two? Or would you like group three? Alrighty, so if you chose group one, your Moonology card says a new romantic cycle begins. A new romantic cycle begins. Let's make sure we check in on your love card. So for love, we have the nine of wands. It's interesting because when you look at a new romantic cycle beginning, the only way to ensure that the relationship is going to be a good one, whether that's a love relationship, a friendship, um, any kind of connection, a work, co-working relationship, um, it's really important to be your authentic self. And this week is saying, you know what? Whoever comes around you, whatever is going to be coming in your future, be your authentic self. Defend yourself. Defend your your right to be exactly who you are as you are right now. Because you are perfect the way you are right now. When it comes to money, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So with the Eight of Pentacles, you're looking at everything that you've done up to this point. You're looking at everything that you have and how to, to make it grow. How can you um, get to that next level where it's like if things are a little bit easier? And this is saying stay to your commitment. You know, commit to... Um, Commit to the work. Do not give up and don't get discouraged because things are going to improve. You've done the work. The things are there. Um, and, you know, uh, for some people, uh, tax time is coming up. So be sure that you're checking for all your receipts. Um, if you're financial world's been a little bit crazy this year ensure that you maybe get help doing your your um taxes because with the eight of pentacles you're looking at everything and that's like be careful about the detail there when it comes to advice you got the world the world is such a positive card to get that means that things are going to come to completion so you're starting on a new positive cycle. And I mean, this kind of works in with a new, right? new romantic cycle begins because uh, um, with world, it means that something's coming to a conclusion. So, you know, whether it's your work friend, your friend, your significant other, your lover, whatever it is that you have going it's going to take you realizing that you're going up the next step of being your true authentic self, that you've put everything in order and that things are going to come to a completion, but it's going to be a positive thing. Be true to yourself. Make sure you check out the details. You're going to be fine. It's good. If you chose group two, as your Moonology card, we got Balance Spirituality and Practicality. Balance Spirituality and Practicality. I think that's good for any day of the week. <laughs> when it comes to love. Okay, when it comes to love, we've got the Six of Swords. So, for some people, this is going to be... Um, Moving away from from rough relationships, you know, if you had a co-worker that was getting on your nerves or maybe you and your significant other or you and your friend have just been getting on each other's nerves or, you know, especially in this time of COVID, there's been so many 
D-I-V-O-R-C-E's and all that kind of stuff. Um, that this means that in your relationships, you're coming into uh, calmer times, that there's going to be some that will reconnect. This is, this is a good card. And I mean, balancing your spirituality and practicality, maybe that's part of the journey that you've gone through. This love journey of the Six of Swords is getting to know your authentic self and realizing to balance your life, you need to know thyself, your spirituality, what your morality, what your beliefs are, and still taking care of life, you know, because... In this time of COVID, it's been easy to kind of just cocoon and pretend that, you know, the world doesn't exist. And it does. So for some, this is reawakening of your relationships. When it comes to money, hmm, we got the devil. Talk about having to balance out your spirituality and practicality. Um, you know what? We all have our demons, whether it be food or alcohol or drugs or fill in the blank. <laughs> you know, we all have those things that we do that aren't for our better, for our best. And that can be really draining on your economic future. So the devil is letting you know that if you are in that group that you know that you've got some bad habits, maybe you're um, uh, spending money on lotto or, you know, it, it could come in so many forms. It, it's very personal to each person, but it's affecting your cash flow. So this is something that you need to deal with for a personal I love it. For a personal and a spiritual reason, you need to take care of this. And for some, <clears throat> the devil is in the details. So I even said in a previous, in my, I just said about tax time coming up. So make sure you check the details. Make sure that, uh, you know, if you work for somebody or you're getting paperwork from somebody, make sure the numbers are right. You know, do your due diligence to take care of yourself. And when it, did you see? Okay, that was kind of weird. Please make sure that you do your due diligence to take care of yourself. Hmm. Um, that I know, you know, I, I blew on the candle and it blew out because I was getting, you know, talking too much, too breathy or something. I don't know. But as soon as the candle went out, looking at the devil card, it just, it hit me that, you know, it's easy enough to say, give up, give up the drinking, give up the smoking, give up the eating. And it's a totally other different experience and journey to have to actually do it. So for those who have personal issues and this could be mental issues as well. This could be having issues um, just with dealing with depression. And oh, I mean, we could go into all the mental issues, but you know, it's one, it's one of those things that we're embarrassed to talk about. We're embarrassed to get help over. And even if you want to get help, it could be so expensive. That's why I love tarot. It helps me through so many difficult times. Um, so I'm just really feeling that for somebody, somebody who's watching this, that somebody who got drawn to this, somebody needs help out there and there's help available. You, this, the devil, the devil doesn't have you tightly. You're the one who put these chains on and you're the one that can take them off. So there's somebody or somebody's out there that's going to need a little extra help. So make sure you get it. If you feel it, get it. Especially if, if your passions and your devils are causing you to even have considerations about life and the worthiness of it. You are worthy. Things are going to improve. 
hold tight and balance your spirituality and your practicality. Don't let your mind get, don't, don't let go of life and get everything in your head because that's when the devil and the demons can really play havoc. Okay, and for your advice, we got the Four of Swords. Retreat. Take a break. When the Four of Swords is there, your problems don't go away. But this is the respite that you need. You need to take a break. You know that the issues, you know that... You know, if you go to bed tonight and, and you've got a problem, you, you whatever that problem should be, it's made worse when you're not getting sleep. It's made worse when you don't have a moment to yourself to take care of yourself, to even recognize that there's a problem. So take a moment, take a break, take a vacation, take an hour to think about what it is that's happening in your life. Is there something in your life that needs a change? This is the time to contemplate it. It's for some, this could be a great time for, you know, even doing meditation. Go for a walk and touch a tree. Like there's just do, do something for yourself. You need to balance it out for yourself. Wow. That was a, that was a heavy reading. I got, I felt that one. All right. So if you chose group three for your moonology, your commitment is being tested. Your commitment is being tested. So you need to find strength this week. What's happening with love? The king of wands. When the king of wands shows up, there's a need for flexibility, which actually works perfectly with your commitment is being tested. The King of Wands has a definite way of wanting to do things. He knows how to um, get things done and he does it with honesty and he does it respectfully and trying to, you know, uh, meet everybody's needs. So be sure that, you know, you're not giving too much of yourself. Sometimes you know, on, on, people don't mean to do it, but they drain you. They take so much from you. And if you're empathic or if you're emotional or if you're highly sensitive or, you know, whatever it is, this can be quite draining. And especially on your relationships, because once you feel drained and you like a vampire taking your emotion, that affects the rest of your day, your work day, your family life, your personal time. So... Be sure that you are, are taking care of yourself while taking care of business. Don't forget you're being tested this week. When it comes to money, yikes, we got the tower. So, let me think here for a second. I kind of got... A feeling that for a lot of people, there's a big change coming. Something dramatic is going to happen in your financial state. For some, this is going to be a windfall. For some, this is going to be a loss of job. For some, it means a new adventure, a new job. But whatever is going to happen financially, it's going to be a big change and you're being tested. My goodness gracious almighty. Um, when it comes to finances, the tower could also, uh, could also be influenced by your relationships. If somebody's finding you too demanding, if somebody's finding you to be too controlling, you're not being flexible. This could lead to divorce, which would affect your finances. Um, if you're, if you have a business, uh, if the foundation wasn't strong, this could be, you know, letting you know that things are not working out right now. There's something that's going to need your attention. And for others, this could be an external tower moment, meaning that your stability, you, you've done what you need to do. Your, your stability will be tested 
by those around you, by family, by friends, you know, people can be demanding on your time. People could push you into making decisions that are not for your greater good. You are being tested. Take care of yourself. Take care of your finances. If something doesn't feel right, don't do it. And just don't overspend this week. Don't, you know, just keep your eyes open. You're going to be fine. This is only a week. Don't forget. And for advice. For advice, we got the seven of wands. Persist, persist, persist. Keep going. Do not give up. This is... This is a time when you're being tested. Oh my God, how these cards work together. Sometimes it just, you know, it's like a flow happens and you just get it. And I'm feeling it tonight really, really strongly. So, okay. Persevere. Do what you need to do. Any, any kind of disadvantage that's coming your way, you are aware of it now. And, you know... For some, the tower is like explosive. It's a huge life altering change. For some, because we're doing weekly readings, this could be, you know, you put a pair of pants in the laundry and there was a $50 bill in it and you just washed it out and you really needed it. I mean, you know, this could be something to do with finances coming from your house, from, um, from some kind of structure or something falls down, such weight of snow, like it could be a home base, but something that's going to cost you money being tested. But the seven of wands is saying, look, you have what it takes to get through this. You persevere, you feel the pain and do it anyway. You put your, you, you, you are being tested and you have what it takes to pass the test. You have the inner strength. Just pull it out. It's one week. You're going to be fine. Alrighty. So, that was our reading for this week. I enjoyed that a lot. And, as always, I have our Unity Candle lit for each and every one of us. And please feel free to like, subscribe, share, and do all that good stuff that helps my channel. And if somebody hasn't told you today... I appreciate you. Till the next time we talk. Cheerio, guys. Take care.